There we go guys, we are emulating a 3DS game on our iPhone. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new 3DS emulator for iOS devices, which is the Limon 3DS emulator. I have already set it up on my iOS device. I'll be talking about its minimum requirements, gameplay, best settings and much more. So before starting, if you guys are new here, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. With that being said, let's get started. To start off, we'll need to side load the Limon 3DS emulator on your iOS devices. Now the process is a bit complicated but uh, in my case I used 3U tools to side load the Limon 3DS emulator. It is from the same developer who created Emu 3DS and also the Sudachi Nintendo Switch emulator on iOS. I have already made a video on it too. You can check it out on the iCard above. Now after you side load, if you open it for the first time, you will not see anything. You will just see a blank white screen uh, with the settings toggle. You will need to dump your 3DS games onto your iPhone. Afterwards, you will need to open File Manager, go to on my iPhone and then Limon folder. Here if you check the bottom section you should be able to see this folder where you'll have to put your 3ds game files and once you do that you should be all set to using the Limon 3ds emulator. Now note if you have an iOS 17 device or above there will be some problems with the JIT. I'll talk more about it in today's video. Basically I am using my iPhone 15 Pro Max for today's emulation test so without wasting any more time let's get started. In terms of the best settings we'll just go and tap on the settings icon afterwards in core settings you can check out the JIT option. Basically if you are below iOS 17 then you should enable CPU JIT for best amount of performance possible as well as very uh, great optimization but if you are on iOS 17 or above you can't use the JIT option make sure to turn it off. Uh, and also if you are using latest iPhones like the 15 series you can't really use JIT because Apple has decided to discontinue JIT support uh, after the iOS 17 update. Make sure to enable new 3DS mode and set it to new. You can also check the CPU clock it should be set to 100% for best amount of performance possible. You can decrease it if your device is heating up or if you want to save battery life. If you have a great iOS device like iPhone 15 Pro Max you can indeed decrease the CPU clock. Anyways, in terms of audio, we can uh, set the audio input or output, uh, you can keep it as default. In terms of renderer, there are a lot of settings. So shaders, make sure to uh, turn a synchronous shader compilation on if you are facing graphical issues. Make sure that shader JIT has also been unticked. SPIRV shader generation should be enabled along with hardware shader, disk shader catch as well as accurate multiplication to fix any graphical issues. Once that has been done, you can tap on the more options in terms of resolution factor. Uh, if you have the latest iPhones, then I recommend you to go all the way up to 720p or even 1440p. Uh, in my previous video on Emu 3DS, I tested out like 2K Nintendo 3DS simulation on an iPhone and it ran flawlessly at I guess 60 to 90 FPS, which was very surprising. So you can go all the way up to uh, 720p resolution on any iPhone. After that's done, make sure to go back. Frame limit, uh, unfortunately, unlike Emu 3DS, you can only go up to 100% in terms of frame limit. So set it to 100% and those are going to be its best settings. Once that has been done, all we have to do is just open any 3DS game which you want to test out uh, on your iOS device. Afterwards, you can just go ahead and tap on the settings icon. You will get further options such as appearance. Make sure to enable tinted buttons. It looks a bit better. Also, the audio output will be working perfectly fine. You can go to screen layout and uh, swap screen or set last screen option which we use with Citra emulator on Android. So basically last screen will give you and better gameplay experience. You also get the multiplayer option but I'm not really sure if it works properly or not. We also get the hybrid screen option so if you enable it you will get one big screen, one small screen and one screen at the bottom. You can go to the states option and make sure to load state or save state. So you can indeed save game states in the Limon 3D simulator. Now let me turn off audio and then we'll check out how well does it actually work. Though as I told you guys JIT has been disabled so there will be some crashing issues if you are on iOS 17 or above. If you enable JIT then the gameplay experience will be much better, much smoother and way more stable compared to previously. Though it is what it is, at least we can emulate 3DS games unlike the Sudachi emulator where we could have emulated Switch games only if there was JIT support. One solution for that is to uh, use JIT stream on your Mac OS, Macbook or PC. There we go, the game has successfully started and immediately you will be able to see that the game is lagging a bit. I think it's because JIT hasn't been enabled as well as a synchronous shader compilation have been turned on. Uh, if you have graphical issues then only you should turn on a synchronous shader compilation. Uh, other than that 
the game is working properly there are no graphical issues and we are running this game at i guess 720p resolution so no issues whatsoever so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the limon 3d simulator as you can see all the control options are working properly and the controls are a bit difficult to get used to but if you have an gamepad then obviously uh, with the iphone 15 pro max you get an usb c port so you can indeed connect to an gamepad and check it out for yourself anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time Goodbye.